Back the blue. Unless it's a SWAT team member, pretty much the entire Seattle Police Department force. They are banned from vehicular pursuits because of the bill that Jay Inslee signed into law last night. No one bothered to check again on this updated language in the bill, in this case, around training. Now, as you'll recall, vehicular pursuits were banned for almost everything. And as a result of that, crime soared, particularly stolen vehicles, those stolen vehicles being used in smash and grabs, because they knew that they would not be pursued. Then Democrats said, oh, well, 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 you know, we'll fix, we'll fix some stuff. And they pretended to fix a part of the bill. Their fix, of course, addressed an issue that was not a problem. They said you can now have officers reasonable suspicion of a violent felony, and you can use that to justify pursuit. Assuming, of course, you get permission from your supervisor and all the other parts of this law are being followed. But there's some language there around training. The pursuing officer has to have completed an emergency vehicle operator's course, an updated emergency vehicle operator training in the past two years, and they have to be certified in at least one pursuit intervention option. Now, that last piece is in a lot of ways about a pit maneuver. But the state does not include the training for officers in pit maneuver, generally. Seattle Police Department would never use that particular maneuver because it is, in fact, dangerous in a crowded city like Seattle. And as far as I can tell, the only ones who are trained right now in that are the SWAT team members. The training required is what Seattle cops aren't trained in. Not, they have never been trained in, they have, but they don't have the most updated training. That training lapsed. Don't know entirely why. I know that there was online training uh, I wanted a little over two years ago. It was during COVID, right at the beginning of COVID. And I imagine that it was online because of COVID. But right now, they're out of compliance with this policy, which is why last night around 8.30 or so, we recorded it, re reported it first. If you don't follow me on Twitter, this is a good reason. But it happened about 8.30, a little before 8.30, the chief of police, Adrian Diaz, he puts out this all-staff email. And he basically says, look, our new policy is to follow the law to the T, which means the vast majority of the department, and those are his words, vast majority, is no longer, are no longer able to pursue. 